Okay, here's my rear bike light view. I've had this for about two weeks now, and so far it's done brilliantly. So, what I liked about this one is that it has the laser, and that worked pretty well. So, you've got the LED, this simple button here, press that. As you can see, click through those. So I'm on that one. Sometimes if you have a prolonged press, it will then um, switch it completely off. No, you have to go through the whole cycle. That That is annoying, I'll be honest, that's annoying. And you've got the laser here. So there, there. That's constant. And then you've got another one to flash. So if I turn it on again, prolonged press. Well, you have to cycle for those functions as well. Okay, and that's where the, the lasers come from. LED, so there you go, two AAA batteries fit in there. Must say that mine didn't come with the product, and the description on Amazon did say they would. But that, I feel, is a seller issue rather than the product. So, as you can see, it's pretty seamless, you'll see the mount here it's got the groove there's two grooves here that kind of locks down like that um, ok so here's my bike uh, as you can see it is it's a mountain bike uh, it's got a big old rear guard on there so space is limited so I'm not able to put it on the seat pole because obviously it will be blocked by that. I've got a little tiny gap between the wheel and the guard, so that's where that goes. Just a closer look. So this is what came with it. So there was an inner bit that goes in here. But because this is quite thick, I just used it as it was, but on a seat pole, further up, just a bit skinnier than the insert would have been needed. Anyway, it's quite a lot of scope, so you've got, you've got this little turn bit here that locks, locks it here. And that is very stiff, that's great. Then you got this little bit here. You see these little grooves coming in. So that's where that goes into there. And you push the little lever underneath. So if you can that's here. A little quick release. So put it back on there. No. There is quite a lot of play there. But um, it doesn't come off at all. You have to press that and then push it up. So there you go. So let's see it in action. So if I press the LED once, that's your constant, and then cycle two. There you go, that's the LED laser. You'll notice on the left hand side just there, it's broken. That's because my brake cable is in the way. And that's, but obviously if it was in the seat pole up the top, which is probably where it's better placed, that wouldn't have been an issue, but that's quite minor really. Okay, going to give a quick demo of the lights working in the dark. So, as you can see at the moment, the laser's on and the rear bike light is on. Like, you know, the LEDs are on constant, as is the laser. 
I'm going to change your laser to pulsating and then I'll change it back to constant and I'll just cycle through the main LED lights as well, okay?